Hi, I'm Captain John Lloyd. I'm the director of the National Centre for Ports and Shipping at the Australian Maritime College. We're based in Launceston, Tasmania, but we offer something to students from all over the world. AMC is the National Institute for the Maritime Sector. We have some outstanding resources and some of the best international staff as well. We have a towing tank where we can test model ships. Uh, we have a test basin where we can see how they behave in a, in a seaway. We have one of the world's leading simulator capabilities uh, where we can put people on the ship's bridge and train them in navigation and ship handling skills. All of our courses have got a really tight professional focus. Our graduates are in demand right across the maritime sector in all parts of the industry. Employment prospects are really strong. So if you're interested in working in Australia or overseas, AMC really is your ticket to the world. I'm Brady Ewan Smith, um, born and raised in Port Douglas, Queensland. Uh, I've come down to northern Tasmania to um, complete my marine engine driver's grade 2 engineering certificate at uh, the AMC. It's a license which um, enables you to be the engineer on a vessel up to a certain amount of kilowatts, a certain, certain distance offshore. Um, it's, um, it's a requirement to, um, to have an MED ticket um, to work on a commercial vessel. There's a big practical side of it, um, also obviously a, th a big theory based side of it. Um, one of the reasons I chose to come down here to AMZ to do it is because of the, the equipment, the facilities they have here. Um, some of the, the ships over here on the, on the dock are full of engines, all sorts of engines, modern, the modern engines, the older engines, um, all sorts of equipment. So it, it sort of gives you a, it gives you a good um, start, if you like, um, before going into the industry. Great down here, mate. I love it. I love the college. Um, the lecturers are real good, real knowledgeable. And like I say, the facilities are fantastic, so it really helps out your learning, if you like. Meet Bianca Gerard, one of very few female engineering students, but her chosen career is set to take her all over the world. I've worked on boats probably for about six, seven years now, um, usually as a deckhand bosun. Developed the interest in engineering probably about no, three years ago, um, helping out on board wherever I can asking lots of questions and getting thrown out of the engine room a lot, so I decided to do a course. I preferred the AMC because of the tickets were internationally recognised, um, so I can go overseas with the tickets. It's a good challenge. Um, you got to put up with a lot of stuff from the guys, but no, they all respect you, and it's slowly coming into the age where there's more and more females doing it, so... It's, it's more recognised. One of the most widely taken short courses is the Coxswain's course, a small grade master's ticket that allows command of a vessel up to 12 metres in coastal waters. I'm an inlet fisherman down at Corner Inlet in, uh, near Wilson's Prom, so yeah, I need it for, to be able to run that boat. My boss wants to sign the licence over to me, so yeah, I need it to be able to run the boat. That's good, make a speed, 900 revs and bring it to a stop mate, thanks and just hold station here. And like all the seafaring courses run by the AMC, it's a hands-on affair. We've had heaps of practical education, like I suppose if you're doing it somewhere else you might not be able to be out here on the boat, sort of learn it all physically instead of, like you might just be getting in the books more if you're doing it somewhere else I reckon. But yeah, we've just been out in the boats all the time and they've always got simulators for certain things, it's been graphs. Hi, my name's Laurie Hawkins and I'm the manager here at the Australian Maritime College Emergency Response Centre. Well, the Emergency Response Centre teaches students to deal with um, incidents or accidents involving fires, floods, collisions and groundings, plus the medical emergencies they may encounter. Well, it's anyone from the small boats, so those people who might take you on a river cruise, it could be the fishermen, all the way up to your big ships, merchant tankers, bulk carriers, etc. 
Well, the Stephen Brown is one of our many training vessels, but this one happens to be a floating classroom. Um, it can be used for various things such as uh, painting exercises, anchors and cables, how to launch and retrieve. It's got engineering classrooms, but one of its main key features on there is the marine damage control facility. One of the things the students get when they come to AMC is the real hands-on adventure. We have lots of practical training aids, anything from our lifeboats and our survival centre and fire ground through to our marine damage control facility. I'm Steve Barnes. I'm a lecturer here at the Emergency Response Centre of the Australian Maritime College. Over a couple of campuses we've got fire training, survival training, um, anything that requires an emergency response on board. We deal with the fire specific subjects over here, hence the, uh, the big steel boxes out the back full of smoke. Well, given that you've only got one chance at dealing with an emergency on board when you're at sea, you've got to be trained properly. And the AMC delivers world class training to make sure it's done right. Hi, I'm Phil. We're at the Australian Maritime College and we're at the Survival Centre. The Survival Centre um, houses um, a shipboard simulator where we can launch life rafts into a uh, realistic setting and put the crews to work. The shipping industry, so you're looking at the global industry, would send their engineers, their deck officers, um, on, uh, on a, a five-day course which in, would include lifeboats at Beauty Point, um, but also your, your Marina Safety Tasmania, you know, your fishing boat, your commercial charter would send their crews here on a day course. We often get the comments at the end of the drill, it's, it's really realistic, we haven't had the opportunity, or we've done it in the classroom and not in, in a survival centre. So that's where, where we, that's where our niche is, that we actually can combine theory to practical. Hi, I'm Emma. I am studying a business degree in maritime logistics management here at the Australian Maritime College. It's based pretty much on the movement of goods around the world by sea, air and rail and trucks. Pretty much the world survives with, you know, the goods transported around the world. So, you know, without it, nothing can happen. So, you know, there's so many opportunities to go by with the course. No, not at all. Um, there's a lot of land-based jobs as well, you know, to understand the movement of those goods by truck, so you can work for a trucking company. Uh, logistics is, uh, you know, warehousing, um, and then you can look at the shipping industry itself, you know, port and terminal management, supply chain, and, you know, just looking after those companies as well, so those people, you know, HR, human resources management, economics. Anyone that likes boats, anyone you know that enjoys a challenge, and um, anyone that wants to travel around the world. Hi, I'm Harrison Armstrong. I'm studying maritime technology management here at the Australian Maritime College. Uh, the course basically involves a lot of logistics management, which is to do with trucks and shipping. Uh, it also has a bit to do with the engineering side of the maritime industry. In engineering, we look at things like the computer-aided drafting of uh, the engineering side. In that subject, we designed a wave-powered generator that used the, we use the wave tank here and uh, generate electricity from the power of waves. The facilities here at the AMC are good because we can put what we learn in theory into practice in a simulated environment. Due to all the good job opportunities that arise from studying this subject and that are in the maritime industry at the moment seemed wise to study this subject to get a good opportunity in life. G'day, uh, Chris Goffard here at the AMC, um, first year ocean engineering student and uh, we're here in the model test basin, uh, just had our first rat trap run. The Rat Trap Power Boat's first year project, uh, so we have to construct a boat in teams um, using the propulsion coming from a rat trap. Weight this year was the one parameter that changed, so it had to be a minimum of 100 grams, so we tried to keep ours as light as possible, and uh, had to be a maximum metre long and uh, 500 mil across the beam. 
Yeah, it's a fantastic course. The industry's amazing, amazing industry. You know, you get to travel the world, which is a huge bonus. Yeah, I love it. The opportunities for girls who enter the world of maritime engineering are endless. Renee Rundell is the perfect example. She's studying ocean engineering. Ocean engineering is a uh, study of structures in the marine industry, offshore and onshore. Guys are great, lecturers are great. Um, never made to feel inferior or anything like that. Uh, everyone's equal. The scholarships are great, uh, step in the right direction, especially for AMC and women in engineering. I think it really highlights the fact that something has to be done to get more women into this field. But um, I definitely encourage any girl to apply, especially for the opportunities it can lead you to. Basically the world's your oyster. That's what's the great thing about AMC or their courses. Hi, my name's Tristan Jennings and I've just completed a Bachelor of Engineering Naval Architecture at the Australian Maritime College. I'm just here helping out with one of the AMC's biggest resources, the Bluefin. The Bluefin is a 35 metre fisheries research vessel but it's, it's really a multi-purpose vessel. It's designed for a lot of different types of work. The Bluefin is used by every student that comes through the college. Um, the seafarers use it to learn how to pilot ships, engineers use it to learn how to design ships and the marine and aquaculture students use it to learn how to study the environment. Um, to do this, it's capable of uh, many different types of fishing work, uh, as well as lots of different surveys. The Bluefin is not just a training vessel, it's also chartered out for commercial use, and at the moment it's undergoing a major refit to enable it to continue into the future. What makes the AMC unique are all the practical and hands-on training facilities, and the Bluefin is a great example of that. One of the unique aspects of studying engineering at the AMC is the opportunity to undertake voyages on the training and research vessel Bluefin. Yeah, it was fantastic. I had a really good time. I really enjoyed the trip. It was an excellent experience. I definitely would do it again. Oh, it was really good to see like, the practicality within the layout of the vessel. Um, just seeing how everything fits in together and just actually getting like a hands-on approach. Uh, especially like when we were calculating the hydrostatics and the rough weather and all the seakeeping type stuff. He was uh, outstanding. Students undertake tasks that cover topics such as structures, manoeuvring, hydrostatics and mooring design and construction, all while exploring Tasmania's spectacular waterways. Well, it's actually hard to tie it down to one single benefit because there's so many different things that the students get out of these cruises. For example, we do a fishing activity where the students actually get involved in um, trawling and then having seen how the working of the aft deck actually goes and they've seen how difficult it is to actually work on a boat that's moving, then they have to go through a whole re redesign process of that area of the vessel. So that's a very powerful learning experience for them. Uh, we're just running a deed on Spiral to determine the directional stability of the vessel, so whether or not it will track straight, that sort of thing, make its course keeping ability, ability and um, various other parameters. Well, the students get to see how a research scientist uses the vessel. So while they can see the operations of doing a trawl, they can see the mechanics of how it works. Once the catch comes up on the deck, the students wouldn't know what to do with it next. So that's where I step in as a, a researcher in the marine environment and we'll be looking for particular species. We might be assessing the selectivity of a trawl net that's being used. The students get to see the information that I need to take, the biological information how I might do some post-catch processing, and also the students get to be involved in that whole process. So they get a greater understanding of the logistics of doing research on a vessel that's moving in every direction possible. Uh, my time on Bluefin has been amazing. Um, the highlight for the trip uh, would definitely have been uh, getting into some serious sea swells and actually getting to see how sea keeping affects and how important it is on a ship design from an AO architect's perspective. Being out here and being able to relate what we've put it, seen and done in the classroom, doing all the academics and then putting it into a real world puts um, a unique spin on it and actually puts some real life into the design that we're doing and gets our heads out of the box and into the real life.
I'm Louise Ward. I'm a lecturer here at the Australian Maritime College and I work in the National Centre for Marine Conservation and Resource Sustainability. The centre is involved in research and teaching in the areas of aquaculture, in fisheries management and in marine conservation. It's one of these degrees where you get a really broad background in aquatic science and you can focus on different areas depending on your interests. So some of our aquaculture major students will either move into the industry and be involved in research on farms or involved in management. We also have a lot of students who go off to the government side um, or into um, research institutions. So there's a pretty big spread and people can take it really wherever they want to. Hi, I'm uh, Andrew Fisher. I'm a lecturer here at the Australian Maritime College. I'm the marine conservation major and uh, we're really training students to go out in, in the world and, and serve as kind of the intermediaries between science and, and government and helping promote science in the use of policies and regulations. There is going to be increasing pressure on these resources in the marine environment and we need uh, kind of exciting, innovative ideas from these students to solve these problems. The AMC has a number of facilities, it has the Aquaculture Center, it has the uh, Bluefin Research Vessel where students can go out and get a hands-on uh, view and interaction with the marine environment. Students can get a degree in marine conservation but also work, uh, end up working at uh, government organizations, uh, NGOs, and also in, in fisheries and aquaculture management. This course uh, caters to all types of students, science, policy, economic students who really want to make a difference in, in conserving the marine environment. Hi, my name is Dr. Melanie Leaf and I'm a fish health researcher here at the Maritime College. It's good to understand about the health issues that are affecting the animals that you're working with um, and that's important not only from an ethical point of view but also from an industry point of view because industries obviously want to maximise their productivity, their efficiency and also maintain sustainability. We're looking for all types of students, so students that are interested in um, getting into aquaculture. Um, we have a lot of international students coming down and I think that's particularly due to the fact that we have um, Professor Barbara Novak as the unit coordinator and she's a world renowned fish health uh, scientist. Students who complete the Aquatic Animal Health Unit will be able to apply their knowledge um, in any aquaculture um, industry. So that's going to offer um, employment opportunities anywhere around the world. My name is Caterina, I came from Portugal um, and I find myself here uh, in Australian Maritime College. I'm here doing master in aquaculture. Uh, more specific uh, in aquatic animal health, I will do research in aquatic animal health. I will do in tuna uh, disease, uh, who affect the tuna in captivity, because it's, uh, uh, it, it, we, they are starting now to do um, more research in this field, because tuna is depleting in the wild. So aquaculture is a big help to this species, so now we are more focus in the health. I, I feel prepared to go everywhere. Here it's a very international school, it's really international. Uh, the teachers as well, the students. So I feel coming here that my knowledge about also not just the specific but also about the other cultures, it's really, it's high, it's very big and very, very nice. I'm Megan Dachman and I received a scholarship in Year 12 to study at the Australian Maritime College um, and I'm now studying Applied Science Marine Environment. The course is pretty broad, it covers quite a few areas like biology, ecology, a bit of economics and social sciences. I'm hoping to be able to travel, um, maybe work in fisheries management in a developing country or research.
I'd always kind of, since I was young, had plans to study at the Maritime College, but yeah, this was a good incentive to study. So. <laughs> The scholarship is a great incentive to start at the AMC because it is a reward for working hard and yeah, it's given me a good opportunity to hopefully achieve my goal of travelling around the world and working in this area. Hi, my name is Nick Dyke and I'm studying Maritime Logistics Management at the Australian Maritime College and I'm studying via distance. I could be studying today. Now this fishing show might be the best job in the world, but should it fall over and I have to get a real job, uh, I think the Maritime College and particularly MLN opens up some real opportunities. The beauty of the AMC's distance ed program is basically anywhere where you've got access to a computer and the internet, you can be studying. So not out in the boat, but uh, back on shore. While you're studying off campus, there is plenty of support, whether it be by phone or email. And uh, once you get your degree, the career options are endless. The AMC is your ticket to the world. Hi there, my name's Diggory. I'm at the Australian Maritime College, and I'm looking uh, at behaviour in groups of Barramundi as a postgraduate research. The well, research is looking at two different groups of barramundi from two different hatcheries and assessing whether they've got different levels of aggression between those groups or when we mix them together as a mixed group. It's very important research because of the very high levels of aggression that are exhibited by barramundi, particularly juvenile barramundi, in an aquaculture environment. Farmers can expect to lose maybe up to 50% of their stock in the early phases through cannibalism. So being able to mitigate against that cannibalism is, is very, very important. The implications of this research are beyond just barramundi, as aggression in uh, aquacultured fish species impacts on their growth rate. So throughout the world, this kind of research is of great importance.